Hello friends, welcome back. Well, guess what? Something is happening right here. Let me show you and then we'll talk about it. Would you look at this? Isn't this beautiful? It fits 10, there's 10 chairs we got with this. It has a leaf. It's a big, big table. <laughs> it's gorgeous, gorgeous table. So, here's the story. This is our in-laws old table. They just got a brand new one. And she had this painted by Jamie Ray Vintage, the same lady who did our table. And, um, but she, your oh, yes, <laughs> not our in-laws, my in-laws, <laughs> you're correct, honey. And, um, but she wanted to warm up her house a little bit more. So she has been eyeing a certain table at Costco and it finally dropped down a lot in price over the weekend and they snagged it. And they said that whenever they were going to replace this, that we could have it if we wanted it because I'm in love with it. So this is our new dining room table. We're not gonna do chairs at the head just because the way that it's centered under the light, it would just give us less room. Um, this right here, it seems small on camera. It looks bigger in real life, but I didn't wanna crowd this too much. So we have six chairs at the table and then two chairs fit perfectly underneath our counter and then i think we're putting the other two in the living room we're gonna work that in if not the basement so derek and the boys well at least derek right now is getting the cushions off the old chairs already got them all. yeah and i'm gonna wash these up and put them on the dining room table this set is gonna go downstairs in the basement and it could be used for game nights, it could be used for whatever, but eventually when Callie gets her own place, we want to give this to her. So, because I love that table. We're gonna repaint underneath and repaint the chairs and um, that will be hers. But in the meantime, we'll be downstairs and I'm sure it'll be coming up for parties and everything. But Derek and I were talking about how much bigger this house is compared to our last house, huh? Like just having that table in this room, like like we knew it was bigger, but just seeing it, we're like, oh my goodness, we can put like another mini couch here or chairs or something and wow. So pie night and other gatherings in this house are gonna be fantastic. It's just exciting. More room is always exciting. So yep, so there it is, our new dining room table and fall is coming and I can't wait. To Halloween this up. Oh, they're so thrilled. Look at the excitement. Derek's like, <laughs> just a couple more weeks, baby. Wait until October. Wait until October. Yeah, right. <laughs> he knows that's not gonna happen. So yeah, that is that, you guys. All right, it is Sunday and the kids want a treat, so we're gonna make two boxes of the Betty Crocker fudge brownies. These are the best box brownies, seriously. Um, I do wanna make some of my homemade brownies. I have a few recipes for you guys, go check them out. I think there's a zucchini brownie I've made for you and a crispy brownie. Whatever brownies I've made, I'll leave a link for you.
It's just so satisfying. This is so satisfying? Yeah. Watching it go in. Ooh. And I'm banging it because it gets all the air bubbles up. All right, going in the oven. All right, the brownies are in the oven. I have potatoes in the Instant Pot. Derek peeled them and quartered them. They're in there uh, for mashed potatoes because tonight for dinner, we are having Mississippi pot roast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you have leftovers of the meat or want to have them in a slider form, I do have a video on how you can make them into sliders. So good. But we're gonna have pot roast with mashed potatoes and I've got tons of veggies and dessert brownies, so yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah, I've been in, I showered last night after the beach and dried my hair this morning, what was left still flat ironed, put on makeup so I would feel human today, but we stayed home. Um, the sun beat us up real good at the lake. The kids just didn't feel good. They got like a lot of bites on them. There must be like water bugs or mosquitoes or something. The rocks on your knees. And the rocks hurt your feet. So they've got some big bug bites on them. So yeah. Um, yeah, so we stayed home and recouped. And then Derek went and got the table from my in-laws house because their table came in. So it's been a fun, just relaxing day. All right, so um, what I am gonna do is uh, bake some bread. I got the um, bread flour from the Costco haul, if you guys remember that. Um, so I'm gonna fill up my bucket mm -hmm. with the bread flour and store it in the pantry like that. I have quite a few bread recipes and one that I absolutely love is from the Food Nanny and I'll leave it down below. Love her bread recipe. But a few months back, if you guys remember, I made the bread from the Griffiths Family Cookbook. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh, if you don't know this family, you need to. <laughs> um, Julie, um, right here, she sent me out this cookbook and it's so good. And when I was baking the bread, I had a few questions. So I texted Ruby. She's a friend of mine and she was helping me. And cause um, I was like, do you use regular flour or bread flour for this? And she said bread flour. Cause it just said flour in the recipe. And it is so good, you guys. It is so, so good. But with this bread recipe, um, it's versatile. Like you can make her rolls from it um, and um, her cinnamon rolls, and I really want to try to do that. So I am gonna just get in the kitchen. Um, I'm just gonna stay in my Moomoo today, and I'm gonna bake some bread. We have back to school this week. Well, it already started. Um, and I wanna get some bread in the house. I have one more loaf left that could start the kids on school, but um, I do wanna bake some bread. There's nothing like homemade bread. When it comes out of the oven, it just makes your house smell so good, and you get it all. I let it sit for a little bit, and then I cut into it when it's still nice and warm, and you melt the butter, and you could put jam on it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. So, continue to hang out with me and my Moo Moo, because it's Sunday, and it's a day where I just don't care how I look and it's all about being comfy and with the family. Even when we have family dinner at Derek's family's house, like we go in our comfy clothes. It's just what we do. So you see a lot of hoodies and sweatpants and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we were gonna go to friend's dinner at my friend Denise's house, um, but we are just, we're exhausted. So we bailed, which is sad. Um, the kids were excited. Even Jonah was excited because he loves my friend Becky. But I was like, guys, we're pooped. We're gonna stay home. So I'm sad because um, it was the last big shebang at Denise's house until her house gets spooktified. If you guys don't know who my friend Denise is, she's amazing. Her house is completely decked out at Halloween time. You like my house? No. Like Denise's house is the bomb, but her house is like her house is an older home and the style is just like perfect for Halloween and she does such a great job decorating it. And so she starts now, the end of August, because it takes her a while to set up her house. And uh, it pretty much 
Halloween stays up till pretty much close to Christmas. She'll take it down in November and it's bare for maybe a couple weeks and then Christmas goes right up. So, <laughs> and her house is just as stunning at Christmas. So, but uh, that's okay. We'll be down at her house, not this weekend, but the weekend after I think for fireworks. So there's, um, our town does a big fireworks show and it looks amazing from Denise's yard. So yeah, so bummer. We're not hanging out with friends, but we're just exhausted. So we're staying home. All right, let's get bacon. Ooh, bacon. That sounds good too. I'm hungry. I have Derek in the kitchen with me. He is cutting up a pot roast. The uh, dough is doing its thing. It's sitting here for 15 minutes and it'll be rising and then uh, I'll be kneading it again. So in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up. Oh, Derek's already made mashed potatoes, or yeah, he made the mashed potatoes already. All right, so we're gonna let this sit, I'm gonna clean up, we're gonna get the kids in here, can you hear me? <laughs> and we're gonna have dinner. Look at this. <laughs> we thickened up the gravy after he took it out. We strained it and thickened it and added it back in. So oh, we're gonna put that over our mashed potatoes and we have some broccoli we steamed up. And that is our dinner tonight. All right, I am putting shortening in my pull'em pans. I do have a link for these down below. A lot of you ask about these. These are my favorite bread pans because they make the size of like a normal loaf of bread that could fit into like sandwich baggies and stuff. And you guys, I loved how a lot of you commented and how you like how I grease my pan with the baggie. You thought that was really cool. I have seen my mother do this my whole life. My whole life. <laughs> so this is where I, I guess came up with this you know this is just how I learned it from my mom so I'm just keeping this it's just easy you don't get all ucky all right oh I got a little brownie in my bread on this <laughs> this one the brownies are done and they're delicious and yes I'm not wearing an apron it's just really weirdly uncomfortable with the mumu and today is a mumu day okay so i noticed that last time her recipe made two good pullum size pan loaves so and i spray my counter i don't use flour i use a spray during this part I don't want to add any more flour to this, so that's why I use spray. I learned that from baking bread years ago. I went to a class called Pantry Secrets. I wonder if they're still around. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. I'll leave a link if I can find it down below. But um, great class on making bread. Oh, you would go to there someone's home would, th would they have it in their home or someone would have like a home party and they would teach you how to make bread and you can get some of their things i don't know it was really cool class and i had a dvd on how to make bread and everything um i don't know if you know i don't even know if they're still around i bet they are they're amazing i'll, I'll leave a link but i learned how to make bread 
like more technique style from going to their classes. Oh, there's a lot of air bubbles. I'm afraid that these loafs are gonna be very airy. Yes, airy. So I might need to need this one a little bit more. I did let this rise a little too high. It was like overflowing my mixer bowl. So. Mm, good <laughs> it's just a lot of air. Do you hear that? lot of air. <laughs> and when I do, and the pans say, when you get the plum pans, they don't want you to use like a spray, cooking spray or coating spray like this aerosol. It ruins the pants. So this is how I coat my pans. So these are gonna rise for another 45 minutes or just to where I want them. And then we'll bake them. Uh, 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. All right, this one might be a bigger size loaf than this one. Usually I measure it, I'll take out my scale, but I didn't do that this time. I'm gonna cover this with my cheesecloth. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And then once they get to a certain height, I'm gonna coat the tops of these pans and slide them on and we'll get them in the oven. Brownies are done. <laughs> the pan has like a couple left. And this They're is what... They're so good. <laughs> forever. It feels like forever. It feels like forever. I Paige love just loves oh, seeing oh, Callie and she just got home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so cute. All right, the bread is done. I need to pound on the bottom. But do you see how that big loaf, it almost like overflowed? So I really do need to measure them out, make sure they're the same size. This one is perfect. Look at that. So. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these out of the pans. I don't think they need any more time, um, but I'm gonna bang on the bottom when they come out and see. We'll see how it goes. She found the brownies. <laughs> All right, so I put them in the oven for just a few more minutes. They're very airy, like very airy. I need to keep an eye when, next time when the dough is um, in the bowl rising. It got too big. So here's the overflow one. Not too shabby. Look at that one. That one's perfect. That looks so good. So they're going to sit here and cool off. And we have yummy, yummy bread. Oh, yum. It's so good. 